Science of Energy, Critical Concepts Video Series, Video 3, Learn to Use Ultrasonic Energy Like an Expert. This video will cover factors to maximize cut or coagulation, tips for vessel sealing with ultrasonic devices, and multifunctionality features of ultrasonic devices. Understanding how ultrasonic energy is created and interacts with tissue will enable surgeons to control their desired tissue effect. Additionally, Due to the way ultrasonic devices work, they offer unique multifunctional benefits, enabling efficiency in the OR. The way in which ultrasonic energy devices convert electrical energy to mechanical motion is critical to understanding the concepts presented in this video. If you haven't done so already, we recommend you watch Video 1, How Ultrasonic Energy is Created, prior to proceeding. Factors which can impact cut and coagulation. There are five factors which can impact tissue effects with ultrasonic devices. Increasing or decreasing these settings influence the balance of coagulation and cut. Generator power settings, blade pressure, tissue tension, blade sharpness, and tissue location on the blade. Generator settings. Generator output is controlled by the power setting and ranges from 1 as the lowest energy output to 5 at the highest. At power setting 1, the blade will displace approximately 50 micrometers, resulting in greater hemostasis. Power setting 5 causes the blade to displace in the range of 100 micrometers, resulting in a greater cutting effect. Most generators and ultrasonic devices have a minimum and maximum power setting that correspond to the min and max buttons on the device for easy use. The default power settings used most often are min at 3 and max at 5. Blade pressure. Increasing blade pressure on tissue will maximize cutting and minimize hemostasis. A surgeon wishing to cut faster should increase the blade pressure on tissue and use a higher power setting. This is a common approach when dissecting or marching through tissue quickly. Tissue tension. Like blade pressure, adding tension to the tissue maximizes cutting and minimizes coagulation. There are generally two types of tension encountered in surgery. One, anatomical tension, and two, tension created by grasping or retracting targeted or adjacent tissue. To seal a vessel, it is recommended to release tension on the tissue to allow for more coagulation, as well as use a lower power setting. A common generator setting used to seal vessels up to and including 5 mm in diameter is power level 3, blade sharpness. Blade sharpness and geometry impact the cutting and coagulation effects. Sharper blades cut faster than flatter or more blunt instruments. Both sharp and blunt blades can perform spot coagulation with the correct technique. Flat or blunt blades can spot coagulate small bleeders by touching the tissue and activating on a low power setting. To spot coagulate with ultrasonic shears, the surgeon can grasp the area with the tip and activate on a low power setting. Tissue location on the blade. The location of tissue along the blade impacts cutting and coagulation. Recall from video 1 that the placement of nodes and antinodes along the blade creates areas with varying amounts of displacement. The distal end features the greatest displacement and an increased cutting effect. This design supports the tip bite or tip nibbling technique for dissecting tissue. Conversely, the blade's proximal area at the clamp arm hinge has less displacement and an increased coagulation effect. This is important to consider when placing a vessel in the jaws of an ultrasonic device for sealing. Tips for Vessel Sealing with Ultrasonic Devices Important factors to keep in mind when sealing vessels with ultrasonic devices. Skeletonize large vessels before applying energy to seal. Verify that the vessel is fully captured and placed at the center of the blade. If the vessel is sticking out beyond the tip of the blade, bleeding may occur after sealing. If the vessel is wedged in the crotch of the jaw, it can extend behind the tissue pad and may result in an incomplete tissue effect, which can lead to an incomplete transection or extended time on the tissue. Multifunctionality features of ultrasonic devices. 
Ultrasonic devices offer unique multifunctionality, which no other energy device can provide. Devices with clamp arms are most commonly used for grasping, dissecting, and vessel sealing. Additional techniques with ultrasonic instruments include back scoring, dragging the back of the activated blade across tissue, creating an otomy, pressing the active blade tip into the targeted tissue. This is sometimes referred to as drilling, marching, quickly transecting through mesentery or similar tissue, enabled by simultaneous coagulation and cut. Cavitation. Using the cavitational effect at the device tip enables tissue plane separation. Key takeaways. Factors that impact cut and coagulation with ultrasonic devices are the generator settings, blade pressure, tissue tension, blade sharpness, and tissue location on the blade. When sealing a vessel, make certain to eliminate tension, use a low power setting, and place the vessel in the center of the blade. Due to the unique effects of ultrasonic technology, surgeons can leverage expert techniques to enable efficiency. In the next video, we will introduce bipolar energy and how it uses electricity between the jaws of the device to coagulate and seal tissue.